In this video, we're going to go through how to figure out R or S configuration of molecules that have been drawn as Fischer projections. So here I've drawn an exercise. If you could look at this molecule, maybe press pause, work on this by yourself, try and figure out R or S for each of the stereocenters in this molecule. When you're ready, press play and we'll go through it. Okay, let's look at this molecule in a little bit more detail. So the first step anytime we need to figure out R or S configurations for a molecule is certainly to identify the stereocenters, right? So we want to know where the stereocenters are and then we can figure out whether or not they're R or S. So looking through this molecule, we're starting at the top, we go CH3, well clearly not a stereocenter, right? We've got three identical hydrogens. Uh, this next carbon, we've got OH, H attached to a carbon, which is attached to three hydrogens. And then this is attached to a carbon, which is attached to hydrogen, chlorine, and CH2, CH3. So these are different, right? Even though they're both carbons, they're attached to different, they end up being different groups. So this actually is a stereocenter. So put a little red dot there. Okay, next one down, we have hydrogen, chlorine, and now CH2, CH3 versus CHOH CH3. So having an OH here, and clearly this, this part of the molecule down here does not have an OH, this makes it different. So we have four different groups attached here as well. So this molecule has two stereocenters. CH2 is not a stereocenter, right? Got two identical hydrogens. CH3 is not a stereocenter either. It's got three identical hydrogens. Okay, so we know where our stereocenters are. Then the second part, when you're dealing with a fissure, is to maybe draw out in 3D. I want to draw this out in 3D just to have a better idea of what we're dealing with here. And remember that when you're dealing with a fissure projection, as my old instructor told me, said, you're looking at a fissure projection, remember the arms come out to hug you. The arms come out to hug you, and then I told that to my students, and they say, the arms come out to strangle you. And it really doesn't matter if you want to say strangle or, or hug. It uh, works out to be the same thing. They're coming out of the page. So CH2, CH3. Okay, so that's what it looks like. All right. So same as. That's what this triple looking bond error is for. Now, figuring out the um, priorities for R and S, right? So let's look at this first stereo center, this one up here. I'll draw a little dot on it. What atoms is it attached to? Well, from the top to, if we go clockwise, it's carbon attached to C, H, another C, and then an O. So C, H, C, O. And of all of these four atoms, do we have any which are different priorities? Yes. So oxygen has the highest atomic number. So it's gonna have the highest priority. Uh, carbons, these two carbons are tied. They'll be two and three. One of them will be two, one of them will be three. Hydrogen will be four, right? So we can put hydrogen as four, oxygen as one. And these two carbons, we've got to break a tie. So we look at what we, each of them are attached to. So if we look at this carbon on the top, compare this carbon on the top, the carbon on the bottom. This carbon on the top is attached to H, H, and H. This carbon on the bottom is attached to H, C, L, and C. So we look at the three atoms that it's attached to. And ordering these actually in order of, of the priority of the atoms, see that chlorine is going to be a higher number than, uh, has a higher atomic number than any of the hydrogen. So this is actually going to be priority number two for us. And therefore, the CH3 will be priority number three. So let's just clean that up. Okay, so having done that, now we can figure out R and S. So one, two, three, and four. So we trace the line right from one to two to three. And as we do so, we note that it is counterclockwise. However, notice that number four is in the front. In other words, it's a wedge. So it's coming out of the page at us. That when we, in order we determine R and S, we need our number four to actually be in the back. That's how we accurately determine R and S. Now, 
if you saw an earlier video on just how we do this simple trick, really the simple all there is to to determine the stereo center when number four is the front is we basically just flip direction. So we're just going to flip direction, and we can then it was going to be clockwise. And now we're correcting for the fact that number four is in the front and it's clockwise, so therefore it's going to be R. So this stereo center here is R. Okay, so then let's look at the stereo center on the bottom. Let's require doing some, actually, let's uh, redraw some things here. So stereo center on the bottom, we're going to do the exact same sequence, um, and we're going to determine, we know that it's a stereo center. We've already done that. Um, actually, I put a shoot up at number three. Determine priorities. And then number four is determine R versus S. So four steps for each of these. Okay, so let's look at the bottom stereo center. We have carbon. Now we've got, it's attached to four different groups. So it's attached from top to bottom, it's attached to carbon, chlorine, another carbon, and another, and a hydrogen. And between these four, we can order these in, in some priority. So of all of these four, chlorine is gonna be number one, hydrogen is gonna be number four. We, we gotta break a tie between these two carbons. So put the chlorine as number one. Hydrogen is number four. Now, in order to break the tie, we need to go a little bit further and see what each of the different carbons is attached to. So draw little green dots here to show that we're looking at each of these carbons. And so this carbon down here is attached to carbon, right? It's attached to the CH3. Carbon, hydrogen, and hydrogen. And this one on top here is attached to oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen. Carbon and hydrogen. That's the three atoms that this carbon is attached to. So if we, an an analyze, we analyze these three, we notice that O is highest. It's the highest atomic number of, of any of these groups. So therefore, this is going to take higher priority. So this will be number two. This is going to be number three. Okay. And so therefore, when we figure out R and S, we, we, we trace our trace our groups here, we're going, so we're actually going counterclockwise again here. So we're going counterclockwise. So this is for stereo center. This is for, let's call this one, two, three, four, five. So this is carbon number one, and this is, will be for carbon number two. So this is counterclockwise, again, but number four, which is our hydrogen, is in the front. So now we're going to switch. So we flip direction, so therefore it's clockwise, and so if it's clockwise, it's going to be R as well. So this stereo center here would be R. So anytime you have a Fisher projection, remember, again, the arms come out to hug you. The, the groups on the side come out of the page at you. And if you've got a number four ranked substituent, so for example, hydrogen, uh, you're going to end up, when you determine what your different priorities are, you're going to end up flipping direction more often than not. And just keep that in mind when you're figuring out R and S for a molecule which is drawn the Fisher projection. This is going to come in very handy when you're asked to perform these types of calculations.